guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642, and today I've got a video for you of this 2014 Hyundai Genesis 2.0 TR spec. This one is finished off in a obsidian black exterior. On the side, you can see your body-colored mirrors, as well as body-colored door handles. And along the rear of this one, your dual exhaust down below, as well as your Genesis coupe badge right there. And I apologize for some of the pollen on this vehicle, it's just kind of unavoidable at this time of the year. As well as over here, your 2.0T R-Spec badge. And on this side, this one is riding on general tires. They are the G-Max AS-03s, and they are... 24540ZR19s. So you do have 19-inch alloy wheels on this one. It also is equipped with the Brembo brakes. You can see this one is in fantastic condition. Up top, you do have the antenna for your radio. As well as everything follows from this side. And up front, this one does have projector headlights, your LED daytime running lights, and fog lights down below. So, we'll get inside, start it up. It does come with your typical Hyundai key fob right here, with lock, unlock, press and hold to release the trunk, and panic. Go ahead and step in. And this one does have the black leather interior with your red accent stitching along the door as well as on the seats with your R-Spec badge right there. And to start this one up, just go ahead, put your foot on the clutch, and insert the key right here. And this vehicle actually has a very nice sound to it when you start it up. Go ahead, close the door. And inside of this Genesis, you do have a very, very nice leather wrapped steering wheel right here with your bolster grips on the edge as well as your red stitching along the inside. And nice and tight power steering. Over here are all of your audio system as well as Bluetooth phone controls down below. Cruise control on this side of the wheel. On the door itself, it's all nice, soft touch material. It fits together great up top. You'll have a padded armrest down below as well and a little storage compartment right there as well as your grab handle to close the door. More storage down below. Both of your automatic windows, power mirrors, power locks, all of that. Over here, you have your traction control on and off and your gauge dimmer. Trip computer reset right there, as well as your vents and everything else. Along the dash itself, it's a nice stitched leather material. It looks great. Right here, you do have your gauges with your speedometer on that side, engine temperature gauge in the middle of it, your distance to empty in the middle, and then tachometer on this side with the fuel gauge in the middle. In the center of this one, it is equipped with the premium audio system from the factory, which has a very nice sound to it. Up top, you can see uh, all of the information for your radio, climate, and everything else will come up on the display. Nice and simple to use. You have radio presets, things like that down below. Your Bluetooth, AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, XM, uh, all of that. Down below, you do have your fuel consumption gauge, turbo pressure, or your turbo PSI gauge right there, and oil temperature right there. And they do work. Down below that, you have your single zone manual climate control, nice and simple to use. Fan speed over here, temperature over here. Down below that are your defrost settings, and uh, you can change the zones, things like that, from these controls. Inside of here, your USB and auxiliary in, as well as a power outlet and more storage. And right here, this one is equipped with the six speed manual transmission, which is a very, very nice gearbox. It's a little notchy, but it's very natural feeling. And it really does wake this car up and make it fun to drive all the way over and up reverse. And the vehicle will chime, letting you know when you're in reverse. Back here, you have two cup holders, e-brake, and a padded armrest back here. Another 12-volt outlet inside of there as well. Overall, the seats in this vehicle are comfortable. It's this nice cloth on the inner piece, perforated leather in the center, with the red stitching and R-Spec badges. And I'm 6'2", and I'm a bit larger, and I still fit very well, and they just kind of hug me in place. You can also adjust the headrest, forwards and back, just like that. And like I said, you do have your R-Spec badge, which is probably my favorite part of this interior. Up top, this one is equipped with a auto dimming review mirror, garage link, all of that. You have your visor right here, with your light up top, vanity mirror built in as well. And in the center, 
interior lighting controls, as well as the sunglasses container. So we'll go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window down, make sure all the doors are unlocked, pop the trunk, and pop the hood right here. Coming to the trunk of this vehicle, inside you have an excellent amount of space. It does include both of your original rear floor mats. You do have releases that you can pull right here to release the back seat and tumble it flat, as well as your cargo net. And underneath of all of that is your spare tire, which is included with this vehicle, as well as uh, everything else is down there, your jack and all of that. It also is all nice and lined up top. Back seat from this side. Go ahead and step in. Just reach back and release. And the seat not only folds, but it will slide forward. You can go ahead and step in. And overall, for what it is, the back seat of this vehicle, I mean, you can fit two people back here. Obviously, this is not a vehicle you would buy as a people hauler. But you get the nice cloth in the middle and the leather on the edge with the red stitching. Armrests up top and speakers. Same goes for over here. I mean, I would definitely say headroom is a little limited, but once again, this is not a car you would buy to haul people, and you can fit two people back here. Do you also have plastic backs on the seats and your nets down below. An entry and exit for a two-door coupe, especially for someone as tall as I am, is actually very easy. Put that back. You have your Genesis door sills down below as well. And inside of here, this one does include all of the original owner's literature inside of here. Everything is included with the vehicle. You also do have your wheel lock key, which is included with this one. And up front, go ahead and pop the hood. This one is equipped with Hyundai's 2.0-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, which is running very nice and smooth. And this is a pretty powerful and fun-to-drive engine with this car, especially with the manual gearbox this one is equipped with. And up here, you have your battery, which is, as you can see, mounted on this side away from the driver for weight distribution, which is a nice touch. And you also do have a uh, factory strut tower brace on this one as well. We'll go ahead and bring that back down. Step inside and cut this one off. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Go ahead, cut the vehicle off right here. Move the key. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond, here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.